Hello. One person is watching. Please let me know who you are. I'm going to be doing some packing today. Because I need to get stuff done and I need to make content at the same time because I'm going on holiday. So I thought this is the best way to do it. Hopefully some more people will join, but if not, we don't mind. Because we've got work to do. £750 worth of orders. Jeez. Better get started. Actually, while I'm waiting for people to come in, I'm going to go set my disc cleaner up. If the disc cleaner is too loud, let me know. I don't know the chat will come up on this, I assume at the bottom, but let's see. I'm going to sleeve up some discs from my disc cleaning order. Beautiful looking discs. Look at that. Ooh. That's what we have with them. Also let me know if the sound's coming through, because I don't know if the sound's working or not. I assume it is. People in. Hello guys, or gals. I don't know if Jess has said that she was joining at some point. Those done. I'm back again. Oh god. Back into on my foot. Alright, first order. Ace combat. Ace combat sold for eleven pounds and something. Eleven pounds and twelve P. There's two versions of this on the 360. One that's better than the other. I think this is the more expensive one. I assume chat's on, I don't know. Everyone's being quiet. Which means I'll just fill the space with my gurgle. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. Also, I'm trying a new angle. It's kind of probably bad for my phone because it's balancing on my charger, but oh well. Metal Gear Solid. Here's what? What a beauty. Shame it's platinum, but still. £22 for that. Quality CEX corrugated cardboard. What is it? I don't know, it's called Strong Cardboard. Nice. 
slice, slice, slice. Game number two, done. I've got a chat on my YouTube, make sure I am not missing anything. And it is just being quiet. Do, 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 do. Your channel. Packing my life. Quiet it out. No, everyone's being quiet. That just means I can get more work done. Oh well. Also, the music is quiet. I'll turn that off a bit. There we go. Yeah, solid. Go to parcel. There we go. We sports. Eight pounds and ten p. Need a game case. It's on all my relatively expensive disc armies in an empty case. Copies was getting it's selling on right now. First one sold, and then decided to go out with the game. Eight pounds. Wash. I had Kieran rummage around in my where I was working for me yesterday. Video coming at some point, probably on his channel first. An interesting watch. Black Ops. I should be showing you what I sell and just throw them in the order. What was it? Six pounds for Black Ops on the Wii. We'll never choose a Wii to play Black Ops, but someone is. And we got a double order. Tony Hawk, Project 8, and Underground. Loved Project 8 as a kid. Never played Underground though. So for seven pounds for the two. And we're going one of these big bubble mailers. And then we go. PS2 console, we'll do that at the end because that will go with every and a wheel and a PS4. And there we go. Camera. We love cameras on the channel, not just a cheapo Goodman's for 16 quid. as I can. I think about the environment. Well, I think about my money. I don't want to buy void film. But saves the environment at the same time, so win win.
Yo, yo, yo. PK's in the house. How are we doing, PK? Not heard that name before. Or if I did, I'm sorry. Um, Hitman, two and one. Hitman one and two. Never played them. Someone's about to play them though for six quid. Let me know if the music is too loud or if the disc is too loud. I need kind of need the disc to be on because I've got a lot of disc cleaning orders to go and I'm going away on Saturday and it's bank holiday on Friday so I need them all out ideally by tomorrow and I've got another 70 discs or so to clean so got to get my booty moving I'm going to go Lord of the Rings for 7 quid where are you? can I go Lord of the Rings? there we go 7 quid for Lego Lord of the Rings Cheapo games, but there's been a lot of heavy console selling, so it brought up my value this today. Plus 700 quid yesterday. Um, Zach and Wiki. It's a five pound game. Cheapo Wii game. Hello, Dom's Tap Bin Flipper. Extraordinaire. I was watching your video, and then I decided I was going to do a live, so I started watching your video, but I'll finish it after the live. So I was. I did, did start with the watching it. <laughs> I watched about a whole 30 seconds of it. Seems like you had a good weekend as well. With your ominous Instagram story of just walking around a table with a load of games. £5.60, hello neighbour. Cheapo, cheapo game. Then we've got two lenses off to the same. I'm sure I checked and there wasn't any duplicates. I mean, any combined orders. Let me check again. That was my free collection. Oh! So what you've got like from CX and reselling them, maybe you're just showing your whole collection off. I thought you picked it up. But not a bad pickup. He was honestly quiet about it, I was wondering what it was. Oh, for God's sake. Person who bought the project at eight. Yeah, what's that one? This is going with the console. I need to remove that order. I'm sure I checked before on it, there was no combines, but obviously there is, and then there's these two lenses. Filtered, whatever they are. Right, let's remove that order. Da -da 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 -da, where are we? Prototate. Delete. Go. Cool. I'm glad I caught that. Saves me £2.30. Right, higher lenses. Two of them, same price. So, doesn't matter which one I do. Just two lenses, sold for £6 each. Filters, lenses, same thing, I don't know. There's a whack of a small jiffy bag. And then we got a negative cutter. I was learning about these when I was learning how they made Oppenheimer and they had to make extra long reels for the players. And I was learning that you have to splice all the stuff, all the different reels together with these type of things, obviously, more industrial. I'm babbling. 
17 pound that's then sold for. I can nerd about almost anything. Apart from sports. Well, that's probably my F1 or racing. Or esports. Special. I don't even know where I got all that stuff from. I don't, I don't buy anything from CEX, but I know CEX use them. Any more thoughts on going for the Amazon route? I'm fully in it. Fully in the Amazon route now. Obviously, the way I'm doing Amazon, it's additional to my eBay stuff. So, Like, obviously I'm doing FBA, so Amazon handles basically everything I just set, pick, pick up a big box, which I need to do at some point soon, because I've got enough stuff to go again. And then they just pay me, and yes, there's not enough, a lot of margin compared to eBay. Um, yeah, Amazon will change my life eventually. That's why I'm doing it on the 0% 0 0 interest credit card. So I can have the capital to do it and not have to worry about dipping into my eBay fund. And yes, there's risk behind a credit card, but if I can't get an Amazon business self-sustaining in 24 months, I shouldn't be reselling. And already, um, not even had a month and I've had about £800 of sales on Amazon. So it's going good. Um, not even had my first payout yet. It's going to be one hefty first payout. But it'll just all go off to paying the credit card and hopefully, like I said, my goal is six months for it to be self-sustaining and it's well on its way because it's already a fifth of the way of there being self-sustaining. So, not bad, not bad. Juiced. And then it'll just hopefully bring more capital in. If you have to pay anything to get on Amazon, well, I've got my, obviously my NLR subscription that I pay for, which helps automate a hell of a lot of it, which is £40 per month, and then you pay, Amazon deduct, well, every month Amazon charges you £40 per month. Yeah, completely FBA, I'm not doing anything FBM. There may be something, like in the future, like oddball stuff maybe I'm, like I want to try use games at some point but I kind of want to do that with FBA to have the edge of the competition and um, because people are too scared to turn into FBA what's the biggest barrier for you the capital the initial capital to grow it and I, I feel that I feel the knowledge and the capital and obviously I've got NLR to support me from the knowledge and I've got the credit card to support me for the capital. So, I've done those two things and I've just jumped straight into it. I but I feel that was, that was the biggest thing. I saw someone else message me. Um, I've got some Wii games. Here you can have Jack. I'll fetch them with me in case I see you at the car boot this Easter weekend. Thank you, but I won't be at the car boot. <laughs> um, I'm going on holiday on Saturday, so I won't get any car boots. Potentially I might do one on Friday, but that would be Norcross or Birmingham because I'm going to meet James Collect, so from James in Birmingham um, for more some kind of more consignment stuff. I'm, I'm debating whether to get up really early and James is thinking about going to a car boot in Birmingham and doing something like that, but I might not, I just go to Norcross, I don't know. But I won't be anything else because I'm going to hold on Saturday. That's why I'm in a bit of a rush to get all this stuff done. Yeah, I've got 
Oh, I don't I can't really show you. Down there I've got a load of stuff I need to send to Amazon, but they're all active leads and I'm sure Kieran won't be happy me showing them. This music is getting a bit loud, I think. Turn it out a little bit. There you go. Second three. Let's carry on. Twenty-eight pounds. I will send this in the large box. Do I have any bubble wrap? No, I do not. But you know more about games than they are. Yeah. Um, Amazon's not games. Um, well, it's a thing that I want to try in the future, but it's more about buying from RA, OA, um, that I'm doing for Amazon. I'm trying to keep it separate at the moment. Two separate things, like I've got sun cream, toys, anything random. Obviously, I don't have to deal with the packing of that. I just show it in a big box and send it up to Amazon, as you know. That's what I mean. In the future, if I do games, I'll be happy doing that at the end because I put the systems for games. It's, it's more of an NLR for the leads and to set up Amazon and all the all the setup procedure for Amazon. As you know, it can be a bit. Yeah, Amazon helps with the. And the, like I said, the leads finding stuff, which is the biggest pull for it. Like, they've already helped me so much with like issues I've had. Like, I'm getting issues with approval for certain stuff, and they're just saying, try this, try this, try a help ticket to get approved because it seems like they're not listening to you, even though you're correct. So, they're helping with all the little issues I'm having, which is. Worth its weight in gold because I could be spending hours trying to find those if I didn't have them to go to. You cowards don't even smoke crack. Don't smoke anything. Really drink alcohol. Not really a cowardly thing. We'll see how smoking that makes me a coward. Oh, I see you're doing Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah. For the moment, well, I kind of want to fully lean into that because, like I said, I want to spend as little time as possible on Amazon for the money I get out of it, and NLR helps with that a lot. Cool. Oh, I need to go back on computer to it. Oh, I don't. Goodbye. <laughs> I can deal with a little bit of trolling, but don't be a, don't push you a lot. Don't affect me in the slightest, because I can just time you straight out. Japanese game. It's a weird Japanese game. Who would play this? Gallop Racer 6. Lol, they shoot an ever revolving door of them. Yeah. Let's just mod someone. Well, Jess, who said that she's coming in, should be a mod. I'll deal with it while I'm in no rush. Well, I am, but I can spare that time to remove the pain in the bums. Starblit flash. Starblit flash thing. Eleven pounds, cheaper thing. Even bubble. Yeah, I can't hold it. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're not even a mod. You can be a mod. Morning, Jess. Can I mod you? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Jess has the power.
Morning, what time do you call this, Jess? Are you at work yet? Are you packing away? What potato phone are you filming on? This phone? It's not, it's not a potato, I'd say it's good quality, this. Compared to my other phone, but it's a Google Pixel 8. This is my new phone, do not diss my new phone. It gets the job done for the price. I'm not paying a £1,000. Whoops. Bad timing to talk like that, but it tried to connect to an internet which is bad. So I'm on my 5G now. That won't happen again, I'm sorry. But it's bad timing to when you're dissing my phone and then the internet drops on it. But do not blame the phone. I need to turn the hotspots on my phone though. One moment. Yeah. Because the Wi Fi I was using it just died. Oh, was the quality bad? Is that why? Who should have said? Well, I'm, I'm glad you did say. It must have been the Wi-Fi I can't see was really dodgy. I'm gonna have to re-watch that and see what the see what the quality was like, what we have, what we having to deal with. Oh my god, it was terrible. You should have said something. Oh well. Fix now. Right, music back on. Don't worry, the music is copyright free. And I can even gain money from it because it's completely allowable on like it's allowable for commercial use. It's Stream Beats by Harris Heller. Great music. Well, it's just lo fi but yeah it's elevated music. Just something to fill in the backdrop and I can use it on stream. So yeah. Oh, no wonder everyone's running away. Terrible internet, but now my freaking click and drop is need refreshing. There we go. There we go, back on track. Star Blitz, pack that. You see, it wasn't the phone, it was the internet. Don't blame. Oh! Two of this game sold, and I've only picked one of them. Ace Combat 844, you've got that. Camera. I don't know if you're referring to me or how terrible the quality was, but it's me. I'm beautiful. Wait, buy, sell, sleep, repeat. That's Callum, isn't it? I'm pretty sure. Get back in your stitch and see one. Get up to work. I think it is. I'm not just insulting someone. Yeah, it's Callum. I thought so. Okay, I can insult him. Get back in your stitch and see one. Caught you. Both of you watching me. Get to work, get some work done. Get some packing done. I'm nearly done my packing, I think. I've still got, I don't know, about 10 things left. Oh god. 
And I've got to pack my consoles going out for the week, which I've got quite a few of. Well, for the day. Project 8 on the Xbox original. What a great game, what a great game. Completed that. Excuse me, packing a done, drafts for the day done, I'm prepping a whatnot show and Callum has taken photos of the drafts. Okay, I'll let you off, I'll let you off. I'm a late starter because of the kid. I've got students. I've got a set time to be in. HDMI cable, fiber each, for 15 pounds. It was only a HDMI cable, the official Xbox One HDMI cable. But works well, exactly the same, but some people like it's official. I don't know why. Fuji camera. Let me take a picture of you. I'm trying to film it. I have a picture of it. It's my birthday. Happy birthday. But secret gorilla agent. Such your name before you've asked for it. Let me take a picture of you. There you go. Team Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Green Mean Ninja Team. That's a long name. Hi. How are you all doing? Jack, you should play some... What? A loud What the hell is that? I assume that's some music. Alatro. Oh, it's a game. Hell is Balatro? Poker themed roguelike deck building video game. The fuck? The game we almost break up at over the weekend. Well, that's no good, is it? Well, maybe a good for Jess, so then she could be with. Ricky. All the plan. It's probably you're being set up. Hi, Michael Lowry. Yeah, it's a. It just looks like poker with funny looking cards. You play some weird crap. We throw all into your poker though, so probably for you. I'd rather play some Hearthstone or something like that. But in the moment, I ain't got time to play games. I'm busy, busy, busy. I hope I'm gonna do this right. I hope I've got the right t-shirts on. I think I do. When I am playing games, it involves that. Courtesy of Becky Secret Santa. If you know what game it is, you know what game it is. If Tom Tat's still here, he should know what game it is. And just does because she coerced to find what game to get for Secret Santa. Still not got my Secret Santa. <laughs> Oh my god, about that. He's making a YouTube channel to expose James Collects. It's not like he's been exposed enough already. 
James is in the dumps, that's why he's switched channels to hide his negative image. Heard it here first. Um, oh, no, 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 no. My other slice of bubble wrap to cardboard box again. There we go. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna guilt trip some people. There's no likes on the stream. Like the stream. Thank you. There we go. Guilt trip one person. Thank you. Morning. I assume Welsh name that I'm not going to pronounce. Glyndwr... Don't ask me. Hi, Garfield. Sorry. You've probably run away now. And I completely accept it. <laughs> Hope you're doing okay. So, who's here because of reselling and who's here because of gaming? I'd love to know the split. Because I feel like I'm dipping into two markets the gaming side of people and the reselling type of people. And who's here for both? Would also love to know. Mario Party 8 for £15. I don't know, I need to put one on pizza. Or. Oh. Beeping means the disc cleaner has finished its job. And that would be a complete disc cleaning job done. 108 discs. That took a few days of cleaning. Well, it took, it took two days. Not a few days. get that sent out and start upon the next one, which are probably close to the second biggest. Is that the massive order you've got? Yeah. All these. All these cleaned and then I had about ten more to do. So that is done and then I can start on the 50 order one that I've got through Instagram. I am not able to sing or beatbox. I sound like a dying cat. Not my words, my girlfriend's. So, no. I still sing, but to her, just to annoy her. But every time I sound like a dying cat, apparently. Yeah, meow. Mahusive order. Yeah. Means I can get it sent out today. So I will pack that up at the end of this list because it's the bottom of my Royal Mail. It's have to go out. Next one. Right. One more and then one to that. Skate three. Wash. There we go. Oh. Right. Let's go get those last discs, sleeve them up, 
and put the block in. I keep my sleeves in the house for my girlfriend to use when packing stuff. You know, I don't know if this will be under two kilograms or not. It's a lot of discs. Only one way to find out. Right. Box. Will it fit? I'm assuming it will. Yeah. Definitely gonna fit now. Way it out. Let's see how to do this. Side by side, equal stacks. That will fit nice. Tower of Peter in here, I think it's yours. I'm not falling out. There we go. Right. Equal stacks and bubble wrap. I thought the music is too quiet now. What are you doing? I am packing my orders and I've got my m biggest disc cleaning job ever of making these discs look beautiful. I don't know if you're going to see through the take them out. Beautiful discs. That's one sent in. Hundred and eight discs. Off back up to the customer. For a nice paycheck. And we've already paid. Unlike one order, which is sat over here, probably gonna if you don't pay before tomorrow, you have to wait until I come back from holiday. I mean, 
what to uh, this cleaning, what is it? Let's explain to you here if that's what you're curious about. Oh my god, I can't bother this. It's too many wobbly things. That did not look graceful. Do it a few times for some extra protection. Pad the bottom. Because that's the disc side, and all that getting strong. Hello, Raz Smith has vlog. Oh, you already passed and said message. Here's a new one. Go. And I've got suspicions this is going to be heavier than 2 kilograms. And my scales are using what's balancing the phone. That could be an issue. for now. Right, moment of truth. Will this be under 2 kilograms? No. 2.2. Okay. Oh well. Just means it needs to go with. Thank you. It's a little bit of a mess. Thank you, anyways. Stay. Stay. Oh my god, this one is there. You can stay there for now. What's my battery on? No, 70%. Okay. It'll last for the stream. Let's do that. Someone bought another game. Let's do that now. Just because one reason. Are you a guy or a girl? I'm a guy. Got a beard, but I suppose that doesn't mean anything. Um. Yeah, if you watch my videos, this game has come down dramatically in price. Eighteen pounds on CX. I saw the eighteen pounds. So. Off we go to the new customer. PlayStation is better than Xbox. 
It's hard to tell nowadays. Both sides have equal arguments. Also, it's an old gen game. Yeah, old gen game, but still selling for money. Eighteen pounds. Still selling for good money. But I think the console wars are over, especially now that the cross-gen exclusives and stuff. So whatever. I was growing up a PlayStation person, I now play on PC with Xbox exclusives and now PlayStation exclusives. Did you ever play Call of Duty World at War? I did play Call of Duty World at War. I played the hell out of it with my brother when I was a kid. Hello, El Reventa. Hello. How are you doing? Siphon person. Alright. Great batch. Da, da, da. Generate labels. And manifest batch. And that is good to go. Do you play Fortnite? No. Well, I did when it first came out because a few of my friends were playing it. But that was a long time ago. However long since the first season has been. I don't even remember. Maybe my account's worth a lot of money because I've got um, the original skins like, from the original seasons. I don't know, is that a thing? Maybe it is. Like, I know, like, playing in those battlegrounds, if you had the cloak skin, whatever it is, that's worth a lot of money now. Well, that's whatever. How are you, Jack? I'm doing perfect. I've got my own business, making lots of money. Could be as good as anything. And I'm going on holiday, and I'm going to make money while I'm on holiday. Soon. 29 orders. Is it 29? Something like that? Yeah, 29 orders going out. Plus I've got four every, well, five every stuff. For a grand total in a day of eight hundred pounds, if you include a disclaimer. Is it eight hundred with a disclaimer? I don't know what it is. I won't be selling because I've done all my orders. I know I sold seven hundred and something last night. So that could be much better than that. And I've got my Amazon ticking along the lovely jubbly. Making me even more money. Living the dream. Got like a beautiful girlfriend and kid. Can't do much better than that, can you? Until something goes wrong, but we live every day like it's our last. I am not a philosopher, before anyone says. So I'm sure if Jess is still in or Callum, so they've just clipped that and I'm going to get slack stack stick for it in the group chat. So well. That is bulging. That's crazy. Why is that bulging? Let's retake that. Don't be tape. Don't buy tape from Wilco, especially when they're clearance in it. Not good stuff. But I've got to use it. So I'm using it. Boom. Da boom. Da da boom. What value and gains would you say you need to have as a full-time job? 
it's hard to tell because if you price all your games overpriced and you make no sales, then it's not going to be a full-time job for you, but if you sell quick and get through them, your sales, your profit, need to provide for your family. I should say that. Once your eBay is providing for your bills, then I say go full time. And then obviously, hopefully you put more time into it, you make more money. Gaming though is very deceptively easy. Terry Cartwright, 99 cents Australian dollar rubes. Super chat, my first super chat. Thank you so much, Saria. Is it Saria? Hope I'm pronouncing your name right, even though you just sent that money. Thank you. But yeah. Games is deceptively easy market to get into. You can easily do games as like a part-time thing because the stock's there, but be able to get Games can be very hard to get if you're not looking in the right places. Like you can't just go to the car boots and expect to supply gaming. Um, you need to go to all different markets and combine them all into one to so solely do gaming. And even I'm finding it a struggle, but it's more of a cash flow thing to me than a. Um, there's not enough opportunity for me kind of situation. We're working through it. Yes, Saria, thank you very much. It's so appreciated. Do not feel obliged to. Wolf plays one one one. How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. We're just packing our orders for the day. What we're we doing? Oh, like that. Packing all my eBay orders for the day. Um, well, we've just done all the right and stuff, and then I'm going to move on to the every stuff, which is all my consoles. I've got over a thousand pounds of stock. I start off with two hundred, but at the moment I. Put all the money back into the business to try and grow. Love watching your videos, despite to be where you are. That's exactly what to do. If you've got a full-time job and you're just doing it as a part-time, keep it as part-time as long as possible. And yeah, just keep reinvesting as much as as much money you can reinvest, reinvest into business is going to help the business grow massively. And yeah, keep at it. That's how I started. Well. I think I've done in one of my videos how I started. Um, I wouldn't advise for doing what I did. <laughs> um, I went, well, I tried to do a full time job while doing this part time, while having a kid in a job that I wasn't happy with. And after a few months, I just decided, nah, I can't be asked for this job. And jump shipped. Um, to full time, it was very risky, very, very, very risky to do what I did, but I was kind of saved by, I don't want to say Covid to save me, but it helped immensely with the gaming side because obviously gaming exploded. I started just in 2019, mid 2019 obviously, jump shit probably about, about July, so for the first few months I was do it without the COVID scare. But then the COVID blew up my business and got me to where I was. And I was extremely lucky for it. If, even though COVID was a terrible thing to happen. 
Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to go into it. Right, well, what did I miss? What are you doing? Oh yeah, fourth place. Um, yeah, I'm on my games. About to do all the big stuff now. So. That's that. I'll take this over here. Right. First thing. Got four of these in the car boot, um, for ten pounds each, and I've been selling them off the Logitech pedal set for the G29, G920 things. It's gone for ten pounds each. I've been selling for eighty-five pounds each. I've sold three of them. Got one left. So yeah, how long have you been doing this for? Since 2019, since my daughter was, I, I, I started it um, because my daughter was born and I wanted to spend more time with her. That, that was the whole intention. Um, she was born June 2019. I started just before it. Jump shit when she was born. And never looked back. I've been doing it full time since she was born. So it's a good reference to how long I've been doing it. <laughs> so, yeah. Now she's at school. Crazy how time flies. And I'm still doing the job I love. And I've only just, well, probably in the past year or so, I went fully into gaming. A bit ropey going fully into gaming, but I feel like I'm making it work. I wish there was someone bigger than me in the UK that was on YouTube that I could aspire to be like, but there isn't, so I did it myself. I'm mainly working with Nintendo stuff as there's 10 times value. I've had some PS5 stuff, but not a lot really. Yeah, um, well, I pick up any gaming bits that I can and just pay fairly for what it is. No intentions of holding it and just move on through. But I tend to find more of the older stuff is better margins. I'll pick up newer stuff if it's better, but... I pick up a lot less newer stuff than older stuff. I'm going to say older stuff is more 360 PS2, that time of era. Because the same began with the GameCube and older stuff. So, so I kind of do like mid time area. Someone's calling me again. I don't know if that's Bye. Hopefully it wasn't important. But oh well. Um, right, I need a big box. Is that the way? What do I need to go to my... No, it's not big. I need to go to my... Wall. Okay. Big enough. Got a bit of paint on it, but oh well. Oh. Ah, oh, let's go back again. The tape just run out. Come on, Jack, be strong. Being tight. Oh my god, this is really tight, this one. Let's try it the other way. Promise, I can do this. Jeez, that stitters. It's not having fun, this one. You must politely go to go to No, it's not do that, it's gonna crack the plastic. Oh my god. 
Back up. Take gun. Put the key and rummaged around, messed around with us, and made it super loose. Oh my god, it's so loose. There we go. Lovely juggly. Bit too tight now. There we go. Let's try that. everyone else doing today? They're working away, working hard to achieve your goals, packing, listing, sourcing. What are they doing? Let me know. Sleeping. Deflated air bubbles. Where can I buy your products from? Um, go to any of my previous videos and there's a link to my eBay in the description. Buy it through there. All oh, plenty full of stuff. That's it. It's up to on eBay. Soon to be a new name. When I come back on holiday, I am completely rebranding everything. The YouTube, the eBay, the Instagram, all of it's getting changed. The big rebrand when I come back. Some people already know the name, some people do not. If you know the name, keep it to yourself. If you don't know the name, you gotta wait. I've sent my orders out. Uh -huh. Only four, but worth £210, so I'm happy with that. Now I'm hunting for more stock. Your stock is crazy and you have very good feedback to go with it. I know. Well, don't sound big headed, but. I work hard to be where I am, and I'm very proud of myself and what I've achieved. And I. It's not luck. I've made this. I've worked my ass off for it. Many long days, many long nights, but I get to spend so much more time with my family doing this than a normal job. It's great. All right. Oh yeah, let's pack. Oh, I can't pack that. Whoa. I'll do that one afterwards. After the stream, later on. Can use some disc cleans. Um, right. Let's do the ones I can do. Come on. Work with me, passes to go. Work with me. Yeah, what am I going to do for the rest of the day? Got to do all my picturing. I've got. 
a lot of kitchen to do, to catch up on. Then, try to do an Amazon box if I've got time. And then it's... I don't know, we'll see where we go from there. I feel like that's going to be my whole day. Picturing and... Sorting out Amazon. Right, what have we got? PS2, that can wait. This is the... Pedals. Let's put... Where's my pen? I ain't got a pen. Go hack if you're bulk shipping. Right, the postcodes on the box. SA11 XX. Then the PS4 Pro. Let's sort this box out because this box is a bit dodgy. Let's have to see how heavy it is first. Under 5 kilos. How long are you planning to do the stream for? Until I finish packing, so probably another. 10 15 minutes, so not long. I appreciate everyone who's come, it's great to talk to the subscribers and people who found me. Any questions, I'm happy to answer, provided or not. Locked behind NLR Amazon stuff, but I'll tell you if I can't answer something. Um, with the cost of the unit, would it be easy to get a house with a garage to use for work to cut costs? It's just me thinking long term for myself. It's easier for... Hello Dave, how are you doing? Coffee break. How are you doing? Um, the cost of the unit, would it be easy to get a house with a garage to use for... Well, I had a... I've got a house with a garage type, it's an annex, and a converted attic. I outgrew them very quickly um, so if you can keep it within that yes but I'm growing so quickly I can't do that um, yes this space here is way too big for me but it's literally a one minute walk from my house and the whole reason I moved into that house two years ago was to get one of these units I was waiting for one to come up so I can move my business to here and expand into it and I fully intend to use all this space. For the price it is 1,700 square foot of space for 500 pounds a month. Try to find a better deal than that anywhere. You can't. With this much roof space as well, it is immense. Um, and so close to my house. The one thing that I concern about with the when I was working with the house and here if you work in your house, you've got all your stuff there, you can be easily distracted. Um, very easily distracted with personal stuff. Like, you can sit your computer and then, oh, you can go drift into YouTube, or you can, oh, you can do some clean, or oh, you can go to the fridge and snack or other things. In a warehouse, you don't have that. You come to work to work, and it you become so much more efficient which is what I found. And that's why I moved into here. Um, you don't have to answer, but how much money have you made from your company? Since I started? I don't know. Last year? Net? Well, gross overall money coming in was £160,000. Net profit was about... £40,000, £50,000, something like that. So, yeah. I'm completely open and honest in my finances. Because um, I want to make it so people can see is it feasible for them to do? Is it feasible for them to something that they could expand into to quit their job? And I feel like I've got a lot more room to grow. Even from that, that might sound big for some people, but I want to grow that. I've got big plans. 
I'm, I'm not doing this for, well, I'm doing it for a lifestyle for my family, but I'm doing it to make money. That's the main reason. Some people do it for the time they game, some people do it for money. I'm doing it for both, but mainly the money side. Thank you, Dave. 50 30. That's what I was looking for. Oh, and we need to. I started doing this, and with, obviously, with my consoles, I pre box them, pre game them, um, so that all the consoles are on the same listing. So I've got like listings on my Xbox 360 listings with 50 salts and whatever. But it's not been an issue at the moment, but I kind of want to. Where some people take pictures of the serial number in the pictures to stop people sending stuff back. I can't do that with my listing, so what I've started doing is, on the box, I've started adding the serial number. The T53 is related to what console this is inside of here. So this is an Xbox 360 250GB gloss um, console slim with five games, sold for £50. And then I'm going to add that serial number to the order on the note, so if they return it, I can reference and see if they've tried to play funny games or whatever. Hi Jack from Ireland. Hey Robert, how you doing? Love your videos. Thank you very much. Hi y'all, say hi to me. Hi Norite. Can I smell your facial hair please? No. Please don't spam, otherwise I'll have to um, rem remove you from the channel. What camera are you using? This is my phone, a Google Pixel 8. The front camera. Some people were saying it terrible before, but it was my internet, and I don't know what the quality is like now. Is it good quality? Five kilograms. Let's go. Postcode? No, I did not. CR4 and 3. There we go. And then this one is NG10. 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 There we go. Do a lift? No. I am very out of shape, but I admit it. I'm not in a good way with health, but, well, with my fatness, but. Something I want to improve on, but not got a lot of time at the moment, but something I wish to improve on. There's a bit of lag in your stream every now and then and again, but oh well. Yeah, I can't really help it at the moment because, well, I'm on my phone's internet like I said, I'm a minute away from my house, and in the future, I do plan to... You can get these, like, short-range transmitters and receivers for Wi-Fi, and I... You can see my house from that window, so I was thinking... I talked to the landlord, and they said, it's fine, we're doing it, and attaching a short-wave receiver and transceiver to my house, and I can beam my internet to here. And hopefully that might improve things, but... It's if I'd start taking YouTube to the next level and stuff, and it affects the YouTube. That's the only reason I would do it. Do you reckon the disc has made his money back? Yes. Yes. Most definitely. The disc cleaner has 100% made his money back a thousand times. The amount of disc I've put through it is crazy. Probably in the tens of thousands already. Are you going to cut your hair? Not at the moment. I cut the ends off every so often when they start to die, but... No, not at the moment. It's a bit messy at the moment, but... I come to the work to work. I don't come to work to be a fashion contest. And I only decided when I was at the work to... 
come on the stream, so it wasn't preemptive before I left the house. Um, so, and to be honest, I don't care about my appearance. For some people, it's their life, not me. I don't care. Where is this postcode? Is this not Oxford? Where's Whitney? Because it's charging me £12. Where's Whitney? Yeah, it's Oxford. Why is it charging me £12 to send to Oxford? I got my McDonald's Wi-Fi, bro. <laughs> Have you heard of Dragon? Dragon. A dragon? Like a flying mythical beast? Dragon? Sent off um, and OX. Where's that? OX 10. There we go. YouTube. You're so fine. £22 to send four big parcels out. Not bad. Thanks for reading my comment. No problem. You emoji happy person. But, I don't mind. First I thought you were just a spammer, but, well. No offense, you do talk a lot, but I don't mind. Keeps it lively in the chat. Keeps the... Keeps it going. Helps the algorithm, hopefully. Right, four parcels. That is this one. And then we got NG10, which is this one. CR4, that one. And SA1. Lovely jubbly. So that is those going out. And that is. Well, I've got one more parcel down here, but I need some discs to be cleaned for it. I got to go. I've seen ya, me bop. I know it's no right who's going. I've seen ya. I tried, tried. I got to seven top tall points. Come on, let's keep it serious. Let's have some fun, but let's not, let's not live in cuckoo land. What's your label printer, Jack? It is the trusty old-fashioned, well, old-fashioned, but the Zebra GK420D. GK420D. Had it since, basically, the first year I started. Hasn't skipped a beat. Super reliable. I know there's a lot cheaper options out there, like the Munbun and the Jaden, I think they're called which people seem to have lots of success, but I don't know what long-term reliability is this. I've had this going for four or five years. I don't skip to be. And I bought it used, so who knows how long it's been going. Who knows how long it's going to go before me? Is it? It's not a nightmare. Well, not mine, anyways. You just open it up, take the roll out, put the one in. Quick for me, easy for me. Right, me, Bob. Well, that's not. Nightmare's changed. Yeah, it's not. Nightmare for me, unless, have you got a GK420D or have you got another Zebra? I know I had a smaller Zebra previously when I first started out, and that was a bit of a pain, because I had these weird clips. I can't remember what that was called. I just got a neutral feedback for someone to mention an order cancelled. Lovely. Oh well, feedback's an old data system. I had a Zebra for it printed all. 
black and white stripes. <laughs> I think you got the wrong type of zebra there, mate. Right, um, let's go get these dishes. Right, let's go get these discs in the next order, might as well show these. I got these, my friend printed them, um, little stands, 3D printed them, um, just to keep the discs stable while they're there so they're not rubbing on each other and moving about, but nothing nice and clean. Yo Jack, Francis Francisco Garcia. Yeah, the feedback system is out of touch, especially from a sales perspective. Yeah, but that one, it's got a bit, I'll oh, show you. That one's got a bit of scratches on it still. I don't think you can see. I'll put that through the machine again. See the, see the scratches. Just put it through the machine again. But that one is beautiful. So that one can go into its sleeve. This person's ordered. 58 or 54 discs to be cleaned, so. Should be done by today. They're a subscriber, so maybe they'll watch this and see they're just being packed up. Let's see what this one's like. Beautiful. There we go. How are the Amazon sales going? Eh, they're going. Steady. Um, not done my first month yet, and there's about eight hundred pounds worth of sales. And um, obviously, I've put five thousand. Well, about I'll say, I'll say about three thousand five hundred pounds onto the Amazon with stock. Um, so, but Amazon's slow, lower margins, and a lot of stuff is sat there waiting to go. There's a lot of money there sat waiting to go. Can we give can you do an office door? Um there's not much to see. I can show you once I've done this I'll show you quickly and then we'll wrap the stream up so I can walk around. It's a bit messy at the moment because I've not been focusing on cleaning at the moment because I've just been in a rush to get other things done. But it's alright. I'll show you around though. Right, that's those discs done. Just need the rest of them to be done. It's gonna take a few hours. And they'll probably have to go out tomorrow. Yeah. Right. Let's see if I can flip the camera around. There we go. Right, so I'll show you where you've been living for the packing station. All the packing supplies are in arm's reach. You've been sat on that bar there. Previously, it's not my label print, uh, my weighing scales. Front door, stuff that my is my disc go into. This is just like my whole, uh, the big stuff. Stuff that needs to go to my partner side of the work. Unlisted stuff, like unlisted unsorted Amazon stuff. Let's walk past that. More unlisted stuff, more unlisted stuff. Overflow packaging area, um, where I hold my bigger boxes and stuff that's like tapes and label rolls and Amazon boxes and void fill, void fill, void fill, void fill, void fill. Stuff that needs to go to auction, um, stuff that's not worth me. Mess that needs to be sorted. I think I'm going to use this box. It's a really expensive, like, sight box that the previous person left here. Had to be putting Nerf guns in it. Um, I think I might use that as my delivery box to put outside the thing if... Because I've got a key for it and you can lock it up and stuff. And I can tell the person who's delivering where the key is and stuff. Um, big stuff that's listed. All my games that are listed. 
and the sorting system. I've done a video about that. All my box stuff and all my discs. Disc cleaner is there, churning away as you can hear it. Have you ever heard of sixes, Jack? We do it in work. It's all to do with workflow and so on. I haven't heard of sixes. What's that? See you later, Dave. Hope you have a great day at work. This is my holding stuff or either when I'm picking I put stuff onto it I won't need that hopefully when I got the trolley or when I'm my picturing station just for picturing nice white floor and background what I'm listing at the moment more holding stuff that's what I listed yesterday waiting for this to be cleaned all the discs need to be cleaned console storage all the bits for the consoles controllers wires that sort of stuff Broken consoles, broken consoles, toilet, and then my testing area. Let's put a light on. Ugh. Testing area. Um, more common wires that I needed. My daughter's chair that's been used for holding Wii consoles. Yeah, and then just testing either Blu ray games. Or the consoles, and you'll see in the video, Mr. Rummy's around. Kieran broke my TV yesterday. I'm gonna charge him for that. And then consoles for testing discs whenever I need to. Yeah, big area, like I said, and lots of room to grow vertically. So yeah. Is that? Sorry for the motion sickness. Um, six is like a place that has a place and a spot. There's a workflow like goods in, goods out, and so on. Yeah, so I'm kind of. I, I don't know the full ins and outs of that, but I'm kind of working towards that a bit. Like I've got my goods in, and then that's my unsorted goods, and then I'll, I'll have my sorted goods over there. Um. And then obviously my partner, I'll have goods for her to go to her place and have her sort of stuff. Um, you know, I've got obviously my workstations and stuff. See you later. Person Garfield, Welsh, sorry, might be Welsh. That I don't know how to pronounce. Bye bye. Um, yeah, I might, I might be doing that already, I don't know. Um, I might need to look into it and the Japanese concepts, it would make a good YouTube content video. I might look into it. Um, because I've said in previous videos, this is the year of efficiency for me and I want to nail down my processes and get this warehouse perfecto and how I want it running. It's a long way off, but baby steps. I should stop doing this because these can break on spindles. I've broken three already. But I've got undiagnosed, I'm pretty sure I have ADHD, because I can't stop fidgeting and I have basically every single symptom under the sun for ADHD, but we keep moving. Um, so yeah, probably going to end it now because I need to go and picture with the film that I'm currently recording on, so like the stream, I hope you enjoyed it. Any last questions? I'll give you a minute until 11.20. Any last questions? And then I'm going. So, please let me know. Music is by Stream Beats. It's a streamer's music thing that you can use for free, for copyright. Completely, you can, use, you can monetize all the videos with it. It's good music. It's called Kaizen in Japanese to a Google search on it when you get a chance. Kaizen. Right, let me write that down. Kaizen. Kaizen sixes. Kaizen sixes. Cool. Some browser. Right. Hope you have a good stream. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.